Hello, I am Robert Gramlin, and today I am going to be going over the DW uh, three-legged uh, hi-hat stand today. So uh, I'm going to start from the bottom and work our way up to the top, and we'll end with the clutch. So if we come down here, we'll see that it is double-braced. Um, this continues the trend of very sturdy uh, 9000 series gear. It is uh, touring-worthy by any stretch. Uh, th so these are very sturdy and uh, they come with two clamps so they won't move. If we come around here we can see the foot plate, same one on the DW9000 series uh, pedal. Uh, uh, and then same hinge, same butt plate. We come around here we will see the mechanism that is the spring. So let me move my cam up so I can move that. So that is how that works. And then you can tighten and loosen it uh, so that changes the feel a bit. And if we come around here, uh, these are some spikes that will uh, help uh, keep it on the ground if you're on a softer area. And then uh, we work our way up here. We have a very thick uh, shaft here. Uh, compared to the one I was using before, this is very, it, it has a very wide girth. And we come up here and we come to the, to the uh, stand adjustment. Now let me grab my drum key here, because this really is nifty. So this is on all the stands for the 9000 series hardware. So we can, un we, we can loosen this and then this comes off. So this is attached to the pole. So if we wanted to uh, loosen this up so we could change where this sits, now these sit freely. And then let's say I want it to sit here, to just right there, hypothetically. I tighten that back up, and then now it that's where it sits. So it's not moving. So this is really really rather neat, very sturdy hardware. So you can kind of do this one-handed. Uh, it's it's easy to, um, because it holds it for you. So that's really neat. If we come over here, we will see, uh, I forgot the name for this thing, but this is where the bottom symbol sits. It has a very nice uh, tilt and it can tilt very far or not much, but this is where I would like to keep it. It's a very, a very sturdy, very sturdy thing. So if we come up here, we will see, this is the shorter one that they give you. Um, it is uh, the, the, the pole for your clutch. They make one that's longer, but it was just a little bit too long for me. Now I'm gonna take this clutch off and I'm gonna bring this down here because this really is very neat. So here we can see the clutch. This is what it, this is the one that comes with it. So. Uh, if you want to buy this clutch for your stand, I would make sure of it uh, its diameter um, in the hole first because I think this is a little bigger than normal ones. But we come up here, we have a very sturdy screw, um, or yeah, very sturdy screw up here. Um, just like all DW things, especially 9000 series. And then uh, we have this, uh, we have this, uh, I'm using the word screw for things that aren't screws. We have this here um, with another one mirroring it on the bottom, so those stay in place. And then we have the two felts there to hold your top symbol. Um, so on my last hi-hat stand, I needed to be constantly readjusting this. This stays. I don't think I've had to do it once unless I'm taking it apart. And then one very cool thing, this is another thing that was bothering me on my last one, I'm not going to take it off right now because you need a drum key to do it, but um, this locks to the bottom, so this isn't going anywhere. So if you unloosen this drum key, then you can spin this thing off, but this is very hefty. It's a very large clutch compared to normal ones, and it is amazing. I love it. It's, it's good. So uh, that is the DW9000 series hi-hat stand. If you have any questions, comments or uh, concerns, I guess, you can leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to 
Uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.